If you're a fan of anime and you haven't seen Mob Psycho 100 yet, then I don't think you can be considered a fan of anime anymore. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd, the B-Sides editions. I'm your host, Zack Snyder, and on the B-Sides, we cover the new and trending things in the same format as your everyday nerd. They're just shorter, unsponsored episodes. A couple years, I dwelled into the seasonal anime world, and I was very lucky to start watching the season that Mob Psycho 100 aired in. Not only did I love the first episode, but the entire season was so good, and, and now we have season two just started premiering, and I, I just want to talk about it, okay? Because I don't have that many friends in my friend group that have seen the show, and I think it's really good. Right off the bat, I'll say that if you're a casual anime fan, someone who enjoys things like Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, and um, One Punch Man, uh, then you're sure to enjoy Mob Psycho 100 quite a bit. Mob Psycho 100 is the brainchild of one, the same creator as One Punch Man. It follows Mob, your average middle school boy who's searching for meaning in life and a place in this world. It just so happens that Mob has a special and unique ability where he can go sicko mode on these motherfuckers. So Mob has psychic abilities. You might think that this would mean that he's swimming in all the puss, and he very well could be at some point, but what makes Mob's character so special and unique is not his psychic abilities, it's that he knows he's average. He's not the smartest, he's not the most charismatic, he's certainly not that athletic, in season 2, he even goes out for student body president after someone pushes him to do so and it resorts in him standing on stage for 5 minutes without saying a word. Retweet, am I right? Mob understands that he's average and so throughout the series while he's battling some ghosts and evil organizations, He's also very keen on self-improvement. One of my favorite scenes in the show is when there's a group of non-psychic students who are trying to get Mob to join their afternoon Esper Club when he turns down their offer only to join the Body Improvement Club. And rather than it just being a one-time joke, which was funny in itself, this mad lad actually joins the club and sticks to it, even in season two. And what's even better is the characters in the Body Improvement Club even encourage Mob a lot, and it's just so wholesome. At the end of the day, Mob isn't a Naruto or an Ichigo where he's trying to prove himself by being the most powerful person in the world. Instead, he just wants to better himself without using some kind of supernatural abilities. And honestly, that's just like one part of what makes this show so special. The overall genius of Mob Psycho 100 is that it mixes well-paced storytelling with great comedic timing, fairly complex characters like Reagan, who is Mob's master, but he's actually just a con man who owns a ghost exercising business, even though he can't even see ghosts. Yet, even if he is a fraud, he treats Mob like a mentor, and it's again, wholesome. And with all of this, the biggest thing that's just so dope about this show is its excellent animation style. Its characters and regular scenes are so simple, but when you get into the action sequences, it just starts going all over the place, and it's awesome. One of the core mechanics around Mob's personality is that he doesn't show his emotions that much. And so as things start to happen to the character throughout the show, his emotions start to build up inside of him. Again, retweet. What this resorts in is a number counter that goes up throughout each episode, and once that counter hits 100%, you better believe that shit's about to hit the fan. These make for some of the most interesting animation sequences but it also makes for one of my favorite anime openings. In fact, this season's opening is just as good, if not better. Mob Psycho 100 is the perfect mix of experimental animation, great comedic timing, and great storytelling. If you haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend it. And that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If for whatever reason you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike button. Let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts about Mob Psycho 100? What other anime should I cover in these B-sides? Maybe they're older anime that you really enjoy. Let me know down in the comments, all that good stuff. Go ahead and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.